Okay, I'm going to do a blog here. This is from a, a blog that I had seen, and it's about 20 controversial questions. So we're going to do the 20 controversial questions. I'm reading them off here. So, uh, First one, would you do meth if it was legalized? Hell no, I wouldn't. Fucking crazy. What the hell would you want to do meth for? I mean, what, what really? Why in any, for any guy, I mean, I don't, stupid. Why? Uh, uh, abortion. For or against it. I think it's a woman's choice and they have the right to do to their body as they choose. It's not really my thing to do. Say yes or no. Do you think the world would fall, would fail from a female president? Hell no. I think it'd be better off, to be honest. I think, you know, the woman in power would be good. It'd be fine. Do you think smoking should be banned in restaurants and bars? Damn skippy, I do. Uh, I think we should ban smoking completely and just get rid of it. I think smoking should be illegal. Completely illegal. Hate it. Sucks. It's stupid. Do you believe in the death penalty? Hell yeah, I do. I say, you know, I believe child molesters should be should die. Period. Uh, and But the only thing I hate about the death penalty is it takes like forever. It takes like 20 years to murder somebody. <coughs> to murder. To put them to death. Okay, it takes 20 years to do that. It costs like hundreds of thousands of dollars to put somebody to sleep. Buy a bullet. Buy a gun. Pow. Done. If you have a problem with it, give them to me. I'll do it. I'd be happy to take care of these child molesters. Uh, and you know what? After I'd done that, I would sleep damn good. I wouldn't even charge. I'd do it for free. I sleep damn good, too, after I did that. Do you feel that marijuana should be legalized already? <coughs> I think in some situations, yes. For medical reasons, I have no problem. If someone's going through chemotherapy, and they're all nauseated and sick to their stomach, and smoking marijuana calms them and makes them feel better and helps them get through their day, I think they should be allowed. But if you just want to smoke it because you want to sit around and veg out, then no. Because people like that, they do that, then they drive, and then that's bad. And people who think they drive better, it's stupid. You know, I've tried marijuana when I was younger. I tried it, of course I did. A couple, three times, tried it. You know what, though? All it did was give me the munchies. Do I look like I need the munchies? Hell no. Neither do you. Are you for or against premarital sex? Uh, hey, I think it's a personal opinion. It's a personal choice. I, I'm not saying that kids should be out having sex, but, you know, if you're getting ready to get married and you're in love with somebody... I think the whole point is if you love somebody, I think it's okay to have sex with them, but really love and to be in a position to handle those feelings, you know. I don't think middle school kids that are in love should be having sex. No, obviously not. Even in high school, maybe. But it's going to happen. I think people need to be educated about it, though. Do you believe in God? Well, yeah. Oh, duh. Do you think same-sex marriages should be legalized? You know what? It has no effect on me. I don't care if two girls or two guys. I don't care. Let them do whatever they want. They have just as much reason to be happy and sad and whatever thing as everybody else. I don't care. It, it has no effect on me. Okay? I don't care. Let them do whatever they want. Do you think it's wrong that so many Hispanics are illegally move into the country? <coughs> uh, yeah, I think any illegals. Okay, there's a legal way to get into this country and a legal way not to. Okay, hold on. There's a legal way to get in this country, and there's an illegal way. And uh, if you're here illegally, then you need to go. Bye. I'm sorry. You got problems. So do so many other people. You're no special. <clears throat> you know better than nobody else. Okay. A 12-year-old has, girl has a baby. Should she keep it? I think it depends. Okay? Now, it depends. When you say keep it, do you mean raise it or give it up for adoption or abort it? Okay? This goes back to the abortion question. Uh, you know, it's that at that point it'd be between her, her parents, all that kind of stuff. But if you just mean should she keep it or give it up for adoption, that's really going to have a lot to do with the parents because obviously at 12 years old, she's not going to be working and paying the bills and doing all that stuff. That's going to be the parents or the grandparents. That's who should really have a big say so in that. Should the alcohol age be lowered to 18? Hell no. They don't need more people out drinking and driving. Okay? No, we just don't need it. Should the war in Iraq be called off? Is it really even a war anymore? I don't even know what's going on. I really, I'm not that great. I do support our troops, though. Uh, I don't really understand the whole 
concept of everything going on there's just too much going on I don't even know anymore but uh, yeah I mean it was and, it's, and at this point it's not something we can just be like okay we're done get out you do, you can't okay you start something you have to kind of finish it you have to follow through uh, assisted suicide is it is suicide, uh, assisted suicide is illegal do you agree uh, no. I think under certain situations, people should be allowed to, to end things, okay? I mean, someone's sitting there, they're dying. They got terminal something. They're going to die. There's no way around it. There's no cure. There's no hope. And you know they're going to die a painful and horrible death. Why can't they make peace with their family and be humanely let go? Why, why do we have to watch them suffer? Why do they have to go through so much pain? Why can't you just let them go? It's because people are selfish and are more worried about them. They don't want their loved ones gone. They want them to stick around. They don't care how much they suffer. Stupid mother. Piss me off. Do you believe in spanking children? Hell yeah. I mean, a child does something that's wrong, they should be punished. Now, see, you can lightly spank. I mean, just... Uh, a kid that's like two years old, but if you're mad and they know you're mad and they know they're being spanked because they've done something wrong, a very light spanking like that will, in fact, the kid will probably still cry because it's it's mental, okay, you know, and but I mean if you're leaving welts and using belts and paddles and all that stuff, I mean come on, okay, you don't have to physically bruise your kid to spank them, okay, but if they do. But and especially if they do something that can threaten them or another person, you know, if your kid uh, playing with matches and stuff, you know what? Yeah, you, you need you, a timeout. Ain't working. You know, if they're running in the street, no, a timeout is not to do. They need to understand. And the best way to teach somebody something is negative reinforcements. So, would you burn the American flag for a million dollars? You know what? No one loves this country more than me. I love this country. I die for this country. But you damn skippy. But yes, I would burn a flag for a million dollars. Are you crazy? That's a million dollars. I'll buy ten flags and put them up somewhere else. Well, it's a million dollars. Uh, who do you think would be a better president, McCain or Obama? Well, I think Obama would do better than McCain would have done. So, but, but we'll see. Only time will tell. Do you think Obama will be killed? I don't think so. I don't think people are going to assassinate him. I'd like to think we're past that. But you know what? Not to say somebody won't try. Are you afraid others will judge you from reading some of your answers or listening to some of your answers? I'm sure some will. But you know what? If they don't like what I say or what I write, you can kiss my ass. There's that. Okay. 20 questions. Controversial questions. 